Hey everyone, it is your favorite monkey and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero and I'm still trying to do that quest, the maintenance request quest uh, which needs us to get like salvage, shipwreck salvage or something. I did go read up a little bit on the wiki, did not try to spoil anything too much of myself, for myself, but according to the wiki, um, southwest, south or southwest of our location, about 900 meters that direction, we should get a shipwreck or something. Um, the thing is, I did go ahead, ooh, a bit of lag there, oh. um, I did go ahead and craft up a compass for myself, so I can just know where I'm going, and um, yeah, a bit of food and water, and I did get some of the nutrient blocks as well along the way, got a new battery for the Sea Glide, it's currently got like 33% charge left, so that is fine, I guess. And um, I don't think there's anything else, I just got, I want to get that maintenance quest complete, just to progress the story a little bit further. Uh, maybe if we get to the shipwreck thing, we might be able to get um, different things to scan, I hope. So let's go southwest, head off this direction and maybe... I don't know. I don't know if it's like 900 meters downwards. That'd be just terrible. But maybe the person mentioned or meant go 900 meters in this sort of direction. So we're heading sort of in this direction. In the south southwest direction. Hopefully we can find something. And it will most likely be on the ground. And we don't have a ton of air, so we just have to keep to the surface. And if we think we get far enough, we should be able to see it. Let's just go ahead. It is raining a little bit. Oh, there's that music again. Oh, there's something. Let's go check it out. Oh, interesting. Oh, there's that big thing. Quickly scan, quickly scan. Nice. I'll take that. Okay, uh, you know what we're gonna do? Let's go grab some air. Yes, I know, I know, I saw. That is scaring me a little bit. Alright. So, let's keep going this way. I guess, I'm just gonna keep an eye out. Ooh. And the music is drastically changing. Oh, oh, what's happening? Ooh, what's this place? That's just a map. This looks like a... A kelp forest in the normal original Subnautica. I don't think there's anything up there. <laughs> oh, it's raining. But it's very dark here as well. Ah, oh, there we go. No, go away, sea monkey. Oh, I don't like this. There's a lot of these blue guys. Oh, what, what are they called again? Well, I don't know. Oh, uh... Tin hole, what's it? Titan hole fish. Interesting. Okay. Whew. Alright, so, you guys, give me a minute. I'm quickly going to see if I can find whatever we're looking for, and we'll be right back. 
All right, welcome back. So, uh, okay, that camera's not moving anywhere. <laughs> um, so, it turns out I looked at the wiki a little bit more into the um, salvages we need for the maintenance request quest. And it turns out we need a laser cutter and that has its own fragment. So what I did was, let me go out here, is I detached our scanner room and I moved it along with the beacon over there. Uh, well, I placed the beacon next to the scanner room, otherwise I would just lose it. So what I did was I placed on the scanner room with its own um, solar panels. And I started scanning this area. So if you want to do this on your own, this is our life pod. And if you have a compass, just go west a little bit. There's other places as well. It's highly recommended to move around. But come over here. Place down your um, scanner room. My music's a little bit loud. And there's a lot of noise going on. Forgive me. And just place down your scanner room. Add a couple of solar panels and start scanning for fragments. That's what I did over here. And it is showing me that there are a couple of fragments in this vicinity. And what I also did... Um, which highly helped me, well, it helped me a lot, was I made... Okay, that was weird. I made a drone, camera drone, and um, flew that around a little bit to find the, uh, what do you call it? The fragments? No. Warning, emergency power only. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I used the drone to go into the caves down here and I found the necessary fragments in order to um, complete the laser cutter but while I was exploring I did find a couple of other interesting things at first I tried the caves myself um, these are the sea monkey nests I didn't even know that you, you would get nests for them but yeah they build with the nests, they build scraps, or use scraps to build their nests. And um, one of them was a ve mobile vehicle assembly bay kind of thing. Just want to get in here. Which is over here. Mobile vehicle a bay. Alright, that thing. So, what it requires is titanium ingots, lubricant, and a computer chip. And... Let's go ahead and make that because I'm in an excess of titanium and just finding titanium wherever I go. All right, so that is done. Now we just need lubricant and a computer chip. The computer chip consists of one gold, two copper, which turns into copper wire, and two table coral samples. Where we have the gold, but we don't have, um, I think. Two of those turn into lubricant? Yes. Well, one does. Alright. So let's just put you back. Put these guys back like so. I'm gonna keep that on me. So all we need to do now is find... Mm. Okay, copper wire. So we need two coppers and one or two... Coral samples. Alright, you know what guys, let me quickly go look for those things and then we come back, we just build that and see what it does for us. And then maybe next episode we should be able to build some sort of transportation device. See you guys in a minute. Alright, we're back and I just want to get some air, <laughs> first of all. And second of all, we have this guy. Let's go ahead and launch it. There we go. Now that looks cool. All right, we got our little drones. Let's see what uh, what we can do. What what can we build? Vehicles and modules. Oh, sea truck fabricator module. Okay, yes, yes, I remember that thing. And the sea truck. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay. That is interesting and we're freezing our butt off so let's see a power cell and a advanced wiring kit let's just get away from there 
because it is really really cold <laughs> let's get in here and let's quickly see a power cell is two batteries in silicon rubber okay cool uh, advanced wiring kit is just a wiring kit two gold and a computer chip which is more gold so that is two silver gold two copper two co temporal uh, samples and two yeah, two silver two gold so it's gonna be three gold in total do we have that no but we can do this okay well it's not the end of the world um, yeah so I think next episode we will be able to build that thing I will go ahead and collect some other things um, what do you call it the materials to get that started um, another thing while I was exploring a couple of things like unlocked for me so he's currently running this thing the O2 standard tank but uh, then I saw this one well there's a high capacity one that will come in very handy and it's easy we can we can make that plus we can also try to make this guy real quick let's go ahead and give this a go okay so two glass that is four quarts two silver one silver ore and a standard o2 tank uh do we have okay we got a silver ore let's see all right let's quickly go look for quartz because if we want to make glass it's two quartz so let's go see if we cannot find two four 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 pa number four quartz it should not be that hard they are basically almost everywhere as I say that watch we one two three now we are going to find the last one or like we're gonna struggle to find the last one damn it I hate it when that happens oh no there we go good and also enamel glass usually you need to use a stalker tooth and some glass to make enamel glass now I see you use diamond all right that's not too bad that and that and I think it said we need to use those which is uh, no it does not all we need to do is this high capacity so we were at 75 how much will we get Ooh, that is a lot all right okay uh, let's do the rebreather then so it is a standard wiring kit all right and then fiber mesh and silicone rubber okay silicone rubber and fiber mesh so two coupon samples uh, okay let's take that one because we wanted to make those and let's just quickly go cut up a few of those uh, what do you call it kelp crip fine and I'm really enjoying the music as I'm playing this nice nice music there we go two of those it's really calming relaxing music and it's really it does sit in with the games sits nice it's really cool but unfortunately yeah we're not gonna be able to get that shipwreck thingies without the laser cutter and I mean uh, let's just do this yeah I show you guys the laser cutter material two diamonds a battery titanium and a crystalline fur uh, sulfur <laughs> fur sulfur 
Um, luckily, we, I think I did snatch up a couple of diamonds. Yeah, two of those. Which is really nice. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. And now... I'm just going to put that in there. Oh, we need to go find water. And now we can swim for like forever. Which is really, really nice. I like that. It is so, so much better. We are going to explore so, so more much. Yes, English good. Number one language. <laughs> Alright guys, I think I'm going to end up the episode here. Thank you so much for joining me here on Subnautica Below Zero. I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.